Today on Daddy Jeep Garage, we're installing an Artec full hydro ram mount on this Dana 60. Stay tuned. The, the ram mount actually ties in with this low profile truss. There's a piece here that's going to get welded in. Uh, I forgot about that. So I inadvertently put a, uh, a nice weld in there. I'm going to have to uh, grind out a bit. Also, it wraps around the edges of this truss right over here. So again, welded. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to grind off probably about an inch on both sides there so that when it comes on it wraps in nicely and you'll actually weld it to the truss as well as the tube so uh, first step take off some weld I'm gonna use a carbide burr and then finish it up with a belt sander Okay, so we got these supports tacked in place. Uh, I'm going to clean up some of this rust and start uh, burning these in. A um, little bit at a time, going to flip it over and then burn it on the outside. Let's let this cool for a little bit and get back after it. Just got to get these uprights, finish those up solid, uh, and then flip it over and burn in these cavities. I'm not even going to grind those. I think we can do this in one shot. Started off really good. Hand got really hot, readjusted, and then finished strong. Just for my sake, how hot did we get that? Hmm. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Weld it up. 
Um, fits right on. I did have a little bit of warping. Uh, nowhere near where I welded, but I guess it started to warp right about here in this area. This kind of came in a little bit, so I've uh, been massaging it uh, to work around the casting. It, uh, when I put it on there, it kind of teeter-tottered back and forth a little bit. Um, shaved this area up just a touch, and now she's sitting nice on both ends. Uh, this top cap bolts right in. I don't even know if I can tip this forward for you without it falling off. It's not welded to the axle yet. It's not going to hold. That's, I'll bring you in. How about that? So, not too bad. I like how the Yukon just barely pokes out. I did have to sh um, trim this uh, just because this diff cover is a little little chunky if this big chunk wasn't here it would have fit all right but uh yeah i had to continue this cut over and, and match it um nice and tight to the tubes how close that is to the diff cover can't even get my finger through there uh that plate's removable this bridge uh, I got to put a couple beads here uh, inside and out, but a nice bridge to tie it to the truss. Um, markings here and here uh, for the full hydro ram mount, uh, which should be arriving tomorrow. So I'm not welding this to the axle yet. I want to get the uh, ram on there. I want to get the mounts on, weld that, and then uh, see if there's any more warping if I have to tweak tweak it anymore to fit shouldn't be but you know so there it is a lot of support on the inside this thing is so cool you guys will never guess what showed up oh yeah time to play look at that big old ram all right so on the back side of this uh artec ram mount they actually have locations lasered out you can see the, the squares lasered out marks where to put these so all I did was assemble the clamp assembled the clamps line it up on those squares there right there and we're good uh, put a couple tacks on it and pull the whole ram off and then we'll uh, burn the uh, mount on the uh, this bottom these are aluminum and this guy's steel so this gets welded to it, all these, the rest of the clamps removable. Okay, hindsight. Uh, putting this stuff together, man, you, you just, you don't know. I thought I would have, have enough room here to get the gun in there and get a weld in. Um, but that's just not going to be the case. With as tall as, as, as uh, it is up here take my gun I I'm not gonna have very much accuracy this, you know, this is a half inch tall block um, I could probably get a little bit inside this C so I'm probably gonna do an inch maybe an inch and a half trying to get down inside of there um, well wow, that's unfortunate and then up here just the same like I can fit the nozzle just barely but I'm not gonna be able to get the angle. I it's gonna be tough getting the angle I need in there. Uh, so those are gonna suffer a little. Same on this side. This side I'm good all the way around, but here. Um, so I'll tack. I'll 
weld what I can inside of this um, and all the way around the three sides for sure um, so lessons learned leave this guy out until that guy's in I even welded I even avoided welding on this side because I knew it would have to get into here so um, should have just waited these two have been fine put these mounts in and then that support so note for a future reference All right, because nobody will see them. They're inside. Well, they're all push welds too. Yeah. So I tried to get the heat into it. Uh -huh. uh, this sucked. Oh, I'm trying to get in there. Yeah, I thought I had enough room. All right, day 14 working on this stupid thing. Ram mount is finally ready to go. It's ready to be welded on. And put a coat of uh, steel it on here, just because it's getting cold at night and. Things are starting to flash rust on us, so looks pretty good. I like it a lot. All right, so some things I learned from doing this ram mount. I wanted to get get fancy and do a full stitch. Well, that really messed me up because uh, it warped kind of in the middle. Um, I'm definitely going to be stitch welding this with smaller stitches not getting too crazy especially because i don't want to mess up my gearing i already pulled everything out of this this is the old cover this case is empty um, but the goal is to be able to drop in what i've already done and make it work so let's get burning going very very slow because I do not want this to move uh, I wasn't very patient with the last time doing a lot of this stuff so I don't know if I got I don't know if it uh, hurt me or not but I'm gonna make sure this doesn't hurt me it shouldn't the truss is already on it I mean this thing's stopped but still I'm gonna go slow This should help straighten up my welds. Gear break. Let me know in the comments if you uh, think I'm doing a shitty job or if I'm doing okay. I'll get you guys in close for, uh, for a close-up on some of these welds.
Some are pretty good. Some aren't, but that's okay. As long as they hold. It's about in the axle, right? Doesn't I don't know if TJ just didn't shoot a wrap-up video or I lost it, but either way, thanks for watching, guys. The axle's really coming along. Uh, stay tuned for the next video where uh, we move on to more exciting things. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching.